Welcome back. There is no mistaking a Louisiana catfish. They've got those barbells resembling a cat's whiskers, and when they're breaded and fried at DiMartino's, you simply cannot go wrong. Delicious. Joining us now is Peter and Ryan DiMartino, Marrero and Carol Sue location manager Amanda Gilgott, and spokesperson Angela Hill. Welcome back to Great Day, Thank and you. welcome for the Thank first you. timers. Thank you. How are you today? You. Good. Good. Better now with catfish, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, so what's the secret? Well, you need hot grease for one thing, uh -huh. um, and you need good a good product first of all. Sure. Uh, coming from uh, Louisiana, you got uh, we buy ours from in Brobridge. They also have farms. We bought we buy uh, farm raised catfish. Mm. They have farms in uh, Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, that's important, and of course, uh, hot grease and uh, batter them um, correctly is r real important. Okay, so so how do you batter them? Well, you have a, a milk and egg wash there. Okay, gotcha. And then you're going into a seasoned corn flour, and um, that really makes a difference. And like I said before, the, the the grease the grease is real important. Right. You know how hot and how clean it is, and a good quality. It, is it uh, a secret what you've got in the <laughs> your battery? Well, it's somewhat of a secret, but uh, I mean, a lot of people have their own mixture, which this is our own mixture. Sure. But uh, you can recreate what you like. Okay. And, uh, but you can't tell us a secret; you have to kill us, right? That's yeah, it. The yeah, Martino yeah, yeah, secret. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh -huh. you don't want to mess around. Right, Those exactly. big Italian families. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, and uh, these just you, right. these are strips. We use strips. Okay. We don't use thin fried cat thin fried catfish. I know that's popular, mm -hmm. but um, we like to have some fish. Yes. In between the uh, right. the batter. Right. Uh, I've seen the thin fried, and it's almost like eating a batter sandwich. Okay. Yeah. I really don't. I, oh, I, I agree like it with a little you. bit that, That's a very, yeah. very good point. Yeah. One, you get real fish. Yeah. <laughs> right. One day we're going to have to get some thin fried catfish and with some thicker fried and take the catfish challenge. And, right. Yeah. And, and see, see what you really yeah. do like. Uh -huh. It's a shame you can't really blindfold yourself because you know you know uh -huh. you can feel yes. the thickness or the thinness. Yeah. I mean, you know, with your hands in and delicious. And with your taste buds. But I'll tell you what goes perfectly with that is their world famous potato salad and she is the queen of potato salad. Thank you. Yeah. No, right. you really are. Right. Yeah. It's truly outstanding. Yeah. Thank you so much. And it you really make is. it every day. Every day. Every morning. We start early at six thirty in the morning. So how many pounds do you think do you think you make? Um on a average day about sixty pounds. Six, on an average sixty yeah. pounds. 60 oh pounds my goodness. Of potatoes. potatoes. Right. The, and not com not counting mayonnaise and seasonings and right. things like wow. that. So you yes. probably got ninety pounds of potato salad. I got you. So is this one of your favorite recipes then? It is. Okay. It do, is. You, do you kind of, you know, take some for home or do you implement that at your house as well? Somewhat. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Everybody has their take little what twerks. You learn. Yes. Right. right. I love it. I love it too. But let me tell you, I think it's a statement that this woman has been with, with Martinez for 24 years. Yes, ma'am. See, that's <laughs> loyalty <laughs> counts. Right. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Both ways. Both ways, counts. yes, ma'am. Yeah, consistency, people want to know what they're going to get. They right. don't want surprises. Sure. That's mm -hmm. a big problem if you surprise them because they're really on their way to do something else. It's not the focus and they're stopping mm -hmm. to eat to get something else done. So you don't want to disappoint them. And yeah. I thought what's was interesting and nice about Martinez is that you do have different people for different stations, right? So if yeah. you order your, your famous muffalata or if you choose to get the catfish dish, there's a different person who's responsible for the success of that dish. Yeah, because it's, it's hard to get one person to do five items at one time. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. So that's where the quality comes that's in. A, that yes. has a lot to do with it. So each person becomes a specialist. That's our catfish platter right there. Wow. Oh my gosh. And so it's got um, yes. gumbo, uh, a choice of two, gumbo, potato salad, or coleslaw. There's three on there, but it's a choice of two. Sure. Okay. Then, now you're just teasing us, though. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a meal. He's a teaser. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I was gonna say that's a meal. That's something to share with others, right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 So, but, um, but yeah, uh, catfish is probably one of the most popular fish today around the whole country, especially in Louisiana. And it didn't used to be. I mean, no. a long time ago, no. you didn't hear about it so much. But it's so tasty. Yeah. Well, they're raising them on farms now, so mm -hmm. so it's a lot different than coming out of the river. At one time, they caught a lot of catfish mm -hmm. in the river. Now they're on uh, catfish farms. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of things are going to uh, farms, the shrimp farms and things like that. So does that taste change the taste? It, uh, I find this a lot cleaner tasting. Right. That's mm -hmm. what I find, mm -hmm. you see, because it's controlled conditions. Right. right. And then the size is always consistent. That has a lot to do with it. They can pick when a certain mm -hmm. size comes out. So. Um, and I had no idea. Some catfish are enormous. They look yes. like sharks. It's yeah. scary. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. 
and it did. It really did. Yeah, that'll feed. That'll feed a family for sure. Yeah. A thirty-pound catfish. A lot of those. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. A lot of those. Yeah. No, they are big and they are scary looking. Mm -hmm. It's a whiskers. You name right. it. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They may not look pretty, but my, do they taste good, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. We also serve this on a 10-inch pool boy, as well as a combination smaller pool boy potato salad and gumbo. Which oh, great. Is very so you have your choice mm -hmm. of what you like. So yeah. Good. Wonderful. So good. Yeah. Any other tips for our viewers today? Uh, no, not today, but just make sure your, your, um, your grease is hot. Right. And if you can invest in a thermometer. Okay, that's worth it. Yes. It's worth it. Because you can't tell how hot the grease is. Yeah, you don't want to. No yeah. dipping fingers in there today. Right, yeah. <laughs> fresh product. Fresh. And, um, and, and also, a lot of frying, really, if you don't have a good hood system, a lot of frying needs to be outside. Right. Because it'll go Safety. all over. Yeah. yeah. All know. right. But, but when uh, you talk about quality oil, it means you change it frequently. Uh, you can't filter at home, but we filter twice a day. And oh. we change it. We, it, we change it on a certain day. And that's it. We don't worry about whether it's good or bad. We change it. It's always good at mm -hmm. DiMartino's. Yeah. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you. All right. Well, there's much more to come on Great Day After the Break, so stick with us.